All right, so we are trying to graph 2x squared minus 12x plus 16 in the graphing paper below. And we're supposed to correct, pick the correct shape, click on the vertex, and then click an x-intercept. So the right shape would be the parabola shape. And um, in order to graph the vertex, we need to find it. So uh, recall that your vertex is equal to negative b over 2a and f of negative b over 2a. There are other ways to find the vertex, but this is probably the easiest one. And in our case, a is equal to 2 and b is equal to negative 12. So negative b over 2a is going to equal, uh, let's see, negative b would be positive 12 and 2 times 2 on the bottom equals 12 over 4, which is 3. Now to get the y value, all we need to do is plug that into the function. So f of 3 is equal to 2 times 3 squared minus 12 times 3 plus 16. So that's going to be uh, 2 times 3 squared is going to be 18 minus 36 plus 16. That's negative 18 plus 16, which is negative 2. So our vertex is uh, 3, negative 2. All right, so we can plot that 3, negative 2 right here. And it's a positive um, graph, so we're going to, you know, our when we plot our intercept, it should be going up, not down like this. So now let's look for x-intercepts. All right, so um, one way to get x-intercepts is to factor and solve. All right, so we have 2x squared minus 12x plus 16. And we're trying to find the x-intercept, so we set it equal to 0. We can divide both sides of that equation by 2 and just get x squared uh, minus 6x plus 8 equals 0. And that makes it much easier to factor. We get factors of x minus 4 and x minus 2. And if we solve each one, we get that x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 2. So we go back to our graph here, and we want to select either 4 or 2. You can see it doesn't matter, because whenever you click on one, you get the other. So I'm going to click on the 4 there, and then hit Submit.